there's up there. Okay, so uh, our last session before lunch will be trends in global networking. And if I can ask my uh, session colleagues to join me on stage. So we have Greg Cole uh, from, Glor or from um, ESNet and Gloriad. Uh, Alexander Vanderhill from Surfnet. Marco uh, Bradstatter from the, the UAE IX Exchange, Nasser Menon, uh, who's uh, with New York University, and uh, Sami Salil, who is with uh, the Sudan Research and Education Network. Who am I missing? Rick. Greg. Greg. <laughs> uh, I think. <laughs> Okay, so while we wait for Greg, I will start. Okay. So I'm going to open uh, this session with an introduction on a concept that is being developed uh, by the, uh, the global NRENS CIOs, or the global CIOs of NRENS. Um, and it's called the Global Network Architecture. And it's, it is, at this point, a concept. Uh, their, their vision is an inclusive, collaborative, next generation research and education network infrastructure. And they're looking at that five to 10 year horizon Right, so a lot of what we've been doing recently has been very much of, uh, you know, we, we recognize a problem, we fix that problem, and then by the time usually we've got the fix in place, we need to have, we have a problem again and we need to refix it. So uh, initial document was done uh, by Xin uh, Li of uh, CERNet and James William out of Internet2. Um, you know, the idea is, is to address some of those common challenges. Uh, the strategy, we're here to talk about strategies with ESRAN. Uh, you know, there are many members of ESRAN. They have their own strategies as to how they're setting up their research and education networks in, the, in their own national infrastructures. And what, we've, what we're suggesting here is, is that we need to actually have a global strategy. So we bring the regionals, the nationals, the multi-regionals together. Um, it's initiative, Internet2, CERNet, uh, Norginet, and Janet. Janet is the um, research and education network for the United Kingdom. Uh, and they started this dialogue. Um, the, there is a meeting uh, a couple of times a year at least of a group of CIOs or CEOs, I should say, of uh, NRENs and uh, regional RENs. Uh, they come together and discuss uh, looking at how to create this global architecture. Sort of like a, it's, it's a G20 for research and education networks. constructed out of two groups. So you've got an architecture group, and then you've got that executive team, which is all about the, more of the policy making. Um, it's an evolution, it's not a network, so we're not trying to create a new network. What we're trying to do is just to get the networks that are here today and exist to work together and come and have a single strategy. Um, and um, part of that is the whole idea of exchange points, as, as we're starting to see. So it's focused on the long term. And um, it's about trends, not technologies. Um, so looking at three areas in particular, the operations and security, which sometimes gets a challenge as you're crossing boundaries, the technology and the topology. So again, the designs we, where we touch is great. But what, what is the topology of the person beside you? Oftentimes, there is some variation, and 
you know, we're, we're then left, or our engineers are left, trying to figure out how to get these two topologies to work together. Um, the ANA 100G, uh, for those that are not familiar with it, this is a Europe to North America 100 gig research pipe. Uh, it was uh, launched last year at Tirana, so 2013 at Tirana. Uh, it has been up and active. It is now actually expanded to be the 200G because we've added another 100G con connection that just launched last month. So there are now two connections across the Atlantic. And uh, of course the usual issue, how to fund all of this. Um, the approach is very much, it's a greenfield, let's not, you know, we, we need to leverage what we've got, but don't, let's not limit ourselves from what we've got. <clears throat> and what do we want to do at the end of it is, is we want to have a network substrate at the, at, that's underlying everything that people want to do in the future that's strong enough to handle anything that we can think up and imagine. And uh, I think... You know, between us and our research colleagues, we imagine a lot. Starting with what's simple, so, and then phase ourselves in. Um, so, first process is, is to get something manual working horizons about five years. Later, we'd like to actually see where some of these in enabling factors become automatic. Uh, so this is an artist's impression of what it should look like, all right? And as you can see, it connects every part of the world to the every other part of the world, except for Antarctica. So, and <clears throat> and where? And Iceland. and Iceland. Yes, but there's an underlying there's an underlying support from Europe to Iceland anyway. So these this is the majors. Um, but we need to engage the community, uh, and that engagement's already started. CANS is the China and uh, North America uh, Association, or, so it's China America Networking uh, Society, yeah, I'm forgetting what the S is for. Um, but it's a group that comes together, or they meet once a year between the uh, Chinese research community and networking engineers in the North American, especially U.S. engineers and research community to talk about collaborations. Uh, the Internet to Global Summits is another area where the conversations have been uh, continuing, uh, Terena meetings, APAN, and any special interest group meetings. So wherever there's a coming together of a group of international people, we have discussions underway to keep this moving forward. Um, as I mentioned, there's the ANA 100. It was par partnership between ESNet, Norginet, Surfnet, Internet2, Canary, and Geon. Canary is the Canadian Research and Education Network. Uh, that got the first one running between New York and Amsterdam. The second line is now running between London and the uh, Washington Exchange, which gives us the 200. We need participation. Now, if this is going to work, we've got to have a strong technical committee and areas of expertise, so we've got to get our senior architects together. Uh, we need the people to do, actually commit to this idea. Um, we need to have time and recognizing that we need some financial support from the various NRENs and, and the global, uh, global operators. And we need support from every NREN. So how to participate. Uh, the contact is Edward Moynihan, who is the Director of Global Programs at Internet2. Um, if you want to learn more about it, you can also speak with me and or George Loftus, who's uh, here from Internet2 uh, during the sessions. And um, you know, we'll share what we can. And with that, we'll now...